Brianna Mullen, a junior at the University of California, Berkeley, calls the new rate for student loans a hardship. She says a rate of 6.8% will add $1,300 to her long-term debt when she's already putting herself through college and working two jobs to hold down her debt. I think it's really unfair for students to be in this place where they're can't even bet on the next three years, you know, or they can't even bet that they'll be able to finish their college degree and, and still be able to afford rent after they graduate, let alone even finding a job in their desired profession. It's very discouraging and it's very disappointing. Anthony Paolino, a senior at Providence College, worries the new interest rate will harm veterans. Paolino, who's been on five deployments, including Iraq and Afghanistan, is also a counselor for veterans who need loans for college expenses not covered by the GI Bill. Because the new rate will add $2,600 to the average student debt, he says some veterans won't even consider college. What are they facing that that $2,600 would make such a difference? They're already having transitional struggles. I'm concerned as an advocate that a lot of our, our students will be discouraged, uh, even if it's just a little bit, it would be discouraged enough for them to walk away and say this might not be the best plan then. Both parties in Congress agree that 6.8% is too high. They just don't agree on how to fix it. And by going home on recess last Friday, Congress missed its own deadline for avoiding the increase. The Republican-controlled House did pass a bill that ties student loan rates to the U.S. Treasury borrowing cost plus 2.5 percent. This week, that rate would be 5 percent, but the rate could vary and float up to a maximum of 8.5 percent. But the Republican bill would also help to lower the deficit by $3.7 billion, and that amount is a problem for most Senate Democrats. Majority Leader Harry Reid says it's too much to collect from students. We don't think there should be deficit reduction based on the backs of these young men and women who are trying to go to college. The Senate is working on a compromise bill, and all sides promise the 6.8 percent rate will be reversed with a credit to any student who pays it. But when Congress left for home, there were major differences between the House and the Senate, and the pathway to this promised deal isn't clear. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Washington.